everyone. Here's Linda from Church Doom Bees. Today we will talk about the bells. I had a few customers this week order some pendants and not sure which bell to use. So I thought, oh, there's a need. It's time to talk about the bells. And what's bells? First, what's, what are the bells? The, a bell is a little device, little finding, and to connect with a stone shell a, a little be, or beads to transform to a pendant or a charm and uh, there's a few styles here and let's first let's start a snap-on there's a few styles this is a, a few uh, snap-on bills they're server it can be silver or gold color and can be different sizes depend on what kind of a uh, object you're going to use and the first, I like to use this shell one. The one, the shell, this shell pendant has a hole on the top. It's quite a big, so I decided to use a larger snap-on bell. Made with brass, silver plated brass. And this is the pendant I like to uh, put it on. This is the shell. Looks a good size together. And you will need pliers. Flip back. Here's a little. You need to open up this portion. White, nice and white enough. Then you put the pendant on. Then you fold back this little portion at the back, and you're good to go. Very easy. So here we go. That's the finished one. And this is another one. A little smaller, I call them charm. When some when the pendant charm or little smaller stone, I, I call them charm. You can put it on the bracelet as well. This guy's a little smaller, so I decided to use a smaller clip on bell. Looks like a good size together. And again, you need pliers. Open up this portion, nice and wide. Put this guy's oh, double sided, so it doesn't really matter and put it back. Flip back this section. Okay, nice and secure. Now it's good to go. You can put on a chain, a cord, or beaded bracelet or necklace. Okay, there we go. And it depends on, I mean, uh, there are, you could, people will ask, can we use a drum ring? Yes, you can. In both cases, you can't use a large jump rings. Jump rings, which means a little circle opening, you can put it on as well. Today, we're not talking about jump rings, and we're just talking about the bells, and um, we're done with this. And um, then there's another type of the bells, and that they are aspic, aspic, and the pinch bell, and they're made with brass as well. This two, one is hammer tight, one is agate. The hammer tight is heavy and the thick. You can tell. That's a heavy and the thick. So I decide to use a little bit bigger bell, as pick bell on this hammer tight pendant. So this is already open. I'm gonna open a little bit more. It's so easy to put it on. Pretty straightforward and put it just slide it in and pinch. Make sure the packs are both in the hole on the top of the pendant. Then you're good to go. This is pretty easy to go, easy, straightforward. And that one again, use another bell. This is the as pick bell and pinch. Put it on and push back and you're good to go. And you can, again, you can use on the cord or chain to make a necklace. These guys are big, so it will be necklace pendant as well. Okay, perfect. And that one is done, looks like it, like it. And the next one I want to talk about, it requires glue. And these guys, it didn't drill through. You can tell for this one, this is Brazil Amazonite and there's a hole on the top but didn't drill through so we will need a bell for it and you because this guy is nothing heavy i will prefer to use something a little bit heavier which is this guy this is a pave 
um, for half drilled. It's a pave bell, it's for half drilled stones in this case. And you can just do that and put in and use glue. For glue, you can get glue from Michaels. I have E6000, E6000 glue from Michaels, it's pretty dark, large tube. You don't need a large tube, all you need a tiny, I believe Michaels sell a package of four little tiny tubes, then you can use those. I, I would suggest use clear, mine is white, will show the residue. So clear, if I say you overuse a little bit glue, it won't be that obvious. So that's what I suggest, E6000. And you can try other glue as well. I never use the crazy glue. It might work, but you have to try it out. That's another stone. These guys, you can tell there's a hole on the top. It's not drilled through. So what we do, we use this kind of a bell as well. And it's easy, there's a pack on the bottom and just put in and apply the glue. Pretty straightforward. And these guys are good to go. We sell them as well. They're, they're already done. I call them charms. They're nice and uh, nice, pretty small. And uh, they're good for, it can be necklace or can be a bracelet, put on the bracelet as well. Again, you can use the drum rings to put it on, or you can put, you can use this clip on ones, put it on as well. Depend on whatever your preference is. And we talk about the beads. There's half, these guys are half drilled beads. There's rose quartz, these guys are three agate, very colorful, and there's the onyx, and they're fresh water pearls. This is a half drilled. Half drilled, which means it didn't drill through, just on the top. There's a hole there. And you can make pendant or earring, a little charm for it. There's, I have a few here we can use. There's some more brass. These guys are brass, have the crystal on it. I call them pave. And, or something very simple, that's a string silver ones. I like the little small ones in um, string server on the fresh water pearls. Very classy. So here's the round one. There's a hole on the top. And you can just put this bell in and use a little bit of glue. Then we're nice and done. Pretty classy and simple. You can do necklace with it, a bracelet, or even earrings. And for these guys, a little bit bigger, I will use a slightly little bigger bell for half drill beads. Put it on. Again, you need the glue. Suggest clear glue. You can get glue from uh, Michael's E6000, as I said before. And then they will be done. It depends on you can put, the chain, put on the chain to make a pretty necklace or other things different material. Then next one we're going to talk about glue on for flat back stones. These guys, they're flat, flat back. We also call them capuchons. These two are agate capuchons. That's onyx, round one, and this tiger's eye. Okay, we have quite a few on the website for these guys, glue on bells and you will need the glue as well. You can do these ways. The good thing about the cabochons, which I like, is you can pick different side. You can glue this way, make a pendant, a drop, oval shape, or a sideway, make it really unique. The same thing for these guys as well, because it's a round, it doesn't really matter how do you want to sit, and you can pick the best hanging way and glue it, then very unique. For the little ones, you can use, make a drop or that one a little bit too big for the onyx. And this gets to be this. For the material on our website, we have a pewter. These two are pewter. I believe they're about 50 cents. And this is a brass, probably over a dollar. And, um, they both work, depend on how do you want, which style do you like. And on our website, 
Here's our website on my business card, treasuredonebees.com. On the right side, there's a search button. Well, you can put either put a bell in there, B-A-L-L, bell, to search all the bells will pop up, or just put a um, glue on, the glue hyphen on. These guys will just pop up. There's brass and there's pewter, pewter made, in, made with zinc. Then up to you. It's your choice. Which one do you like to have? Same thing for the previous one I was talking about. And for the half drill, either the beads or the stones, on my website, you just put in half drilled, half and hyphen drilled, and they will the, the bell will pop up. And this guy again, as it will be if you want to purchase this guy, you just put in as ice hyphen pick. Then they will pick up all the bells. Then you will look at all the stuff. Okay, the last one we want to introduce today is the bell loop, the loop bell bells. These guys are, I put it in the center, it's easier to see, these two. So we call them loop bell because they are solid circle on the bottom. It's not openable, solid loop. So they called loop bell. So we can connect with those guys with some pendants, can be stones or metal pendants like these guys, these two, you can tell we need a drum ring to connect these two. And both are copper color, both are pewter, and I'm going to find a copper color drum ring to connect these two. You will need pliers see these two connect, then you, you will need There we go. We're done. Good to go. Some people concern the drum rings will open if you put it too hard. It does happen. For me, I figured out how do we do this. If the pen is quite big and heavy, you're worried about the one drum ring might open, I will put the two in there. And in that way, there's no pretty hard for two drum rings open at the same time. So this way it'll be nice and easy. I like these guys. This is pretty big. This loop bell is pretty big. So you can even use on the scarves. Quite pretty. There's another one we want to try. These two. They're pantina colored. So it's more like brass with a little bit green to it. So how they, you can tell how their circles. We're going to need a drum ring here. I will pick up something smaller, smaller brass color drum ring. You will need, again, you need the pliers. Open this drum ring up. There we go. Put it on. Okay. Put this uh, feather charm on as well. Then you close it. There we go. And this is good to go. You can put it on necklace or bracelet because this is good size for a bracelet as well. And good to go. Okay. Here we are. We're almost done here. So here today I was talking about the bells and uh, we have snap on these guys. As pick, look like this, as pick, and the pinch, bells, and the glue ons, glue for half drill pearls or half drill beads. This kind of has a little pack on the bottom. And glue on for capshaw, nice and flat stones, these guys. And the loop, loop bells, just have a little circle on the bottom. Perfect, and uh, I think we're gonna wrap up here. And here it's 
is Linda from Charleston Bees. Today we're just talk about the bales and to purchase the pendant or the bales, go to our website, treasurestonebees.com. Just search on the right side, your search button, you can use, just put in bail, B-A-I-L, bail. All the bales will pop up. Or you want, if you know which style you're getting, just put in either snap-on, ice pick, ice pick, or half drill beads. Just put a half drill in there and you will see all the bales for the half drill stones or the beads. And uh, we're going, here we go, we talk about the bales. And uh, I thank you for viewing. If you have any questions or feedback, just you can post it under this video. Thank you so much. Have a good day.